Creating a table in Moodle, but with borders. This video is a workaround for a bug in the Moodle editor that prevents table borders from displaying on your Moodle page. So let's jump right in and have a look at this. This is what usually happens here. You can see that when, it's, when you create a table, this is what it looks like. And here's an example of what your table could look like. So first of all, I'll do what one usually does, and then I'll explain how to provide this one and also uh, bring in colors and things. So as usual, you have to first click on Turn Editing On, and we'll just recreate the situation here. So I'm going to create a table and for this we go over to the table icon click on that and then maybe I'll have uh, five columns five rows and perhaps you might have done this where you select the border color but it doesn't quite work out when you when you do this and you see you get this and you write something in each area and maybe you make it a bit bigger. Perhaps you might write some things there, like this, and you save the changes. But as you can see, you get you don't get the, the borders. And this seems to be some kind of bug, I think. So how to go about changing that? So click on Edit Summary again. And this time, click on, for example, any cell, choose whichever, then click on cell and then go ahead and click on um, table cell properties and when you're here then go ahead click on advance and then you'll see down here you have border color so click on border color i'm going to choose black and click apply and then here it says update current cell but I'm going to update all cells in the table and then I'm going to go ahead and click on update as you can see now they've all been um, you now have the borders if you now want to go and color them in so for example in this diagram that I have here it's a university um, term and we're looking at how a course in English how it's been organized and uh, we're going to even make all these into quick links a little bit later on so it jumps directly to some other area of Moodle and so how to go about doing this it's a similar procedure so I'm going to first of all give the top thing a, a certain color and some of the other boxes another example so I'll go ahead and click here again and I'll come to the not the end but it seems to be at the beginning of the wording if you can click at the end then you get something which looks like this. If, however, you click at the beginning of the word, let's have a look at this a bit magnified. If you click at the beginning of the word instead of the end, then you get this table here. And I'm going to go to Cell and Table Cell Properties. And I'm going to go to Advanced. And this time I'm going to choose a background color for that top row. I'll choose some kind of reddish color there and I'll click on apply but you see here where it says update current cell I'm going to have update all cells in the row this time and click on update as you can see now the top range the top row has a certain color and then I can go ahead and do other aspects here I'm going to look at a particular cell this time and I'll go through the same process advanced background color and this time I'll have some kind of bluish color but this time I'm going to update only the current cell and so on so now I can make a table which has got hard borders and different colors if I now want to um, scroll down to another area of Moodle or to a website or something like that then that's easily done 
So just now I only have the one topic here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit settings for the course. And in the course format, I'm going to go and write um, number of sections. I'm going to write 40. Save changes. And so you can, you can see I've got quite a few here. So what I'll now do is I'm going to connect so that when you click on phonology, it'll go to topic three. And when you click on literature, it'll go to topic five and so on. And so I'm going to now click on one of these other aspects here. I'll call topic four, I'll call this um, phonology. And click on save changes. And so what you can now do, this is um, section numbers. It's section one, two, three, and four. This is section four. So here in phonology, I'm going to mark this here and then I'm going to go over to the link button here and I'm going to write in section 4 and click on insert and save changes. So now I'm hoping that when I click on this it'll take me down to here. Yep, you see it took me down to that section there. And you can do the same with these other ones. So this where you can avoid this Moodle scroll of death. Students can simply click on a particular area and jump straight to it. So this was all about creating a table with borders. My name is Satish Patel. Good luck with your Moodle.